Hello and welcome my beautiful Scorpios. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of May the 15th to the 21st year of 23. This is a general. Take what you can from it because not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every Scorpio on the planet but some of it will, so run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. Starting off with your all-over energy card, the download messages from the spirit guides, you've got stay grounded. So this is about staying focused, realizing that you are in alignment and you need to stay on this path that you, you're following right now. Um, maybe there's some more work you need to do on yourself when it comes to self-care, nurturing, and maybe even taking yourself to the silence to do more meditative work. Working on yourself. They're telling me, physician, heal thyself first. If you're feeling situations overwhelming you, it's time now to, to reach into that root chakra and ground yourself. Perhaps you need to get outside into nature. Take your shoes off and walk amongst the ground. Mother Earth, you will literally feel the ground change under your feet. It's been proven. Take a look on YouTube There's a, or on Netflix. There's a movie out there called Grounding. And it's very, very true, the energy. And I know you, Scorpio, understand this. You innately understand nature probably more than a lot of the signs out there. And you know the healing elements of it. Tapping into Mother Earth and getting that energy. Ground yourself this week. Whatever way you feel that is going to help you, do it. Reach in and ground yourself and stay focused on what it is you want to do. But this is about nurturing, about taking care of business for you coming in with your first card here your first energy card you have the family now the family room card is uh is the card that says you need to take yourself to somewhere intimate and somewhere vacant that you can be private you know take yourself to that space your personal space such as your home your apartment a motel room or even an office this is about you being secure within the four walls around you. Retreat to your privacy without being introverted. Don't feel that you're shutting yourself in, but some of you may feel that in order to be grounded, you need to be in that safe haven, and that could be your home, your nest, where it is you feel comfortable, right? So this is a week of doing what's right for you. Shut the door and have some time on your own just to do what it is you want to do. And if that's nothing at all, then so be it. Coming in next, you've got the never-ending story. Now, I know there's some grounding needing to be done with some of you Scorpios because this is about the card of self-criticism and you're feeling your ego's wounded and dealing with unnecessary and uh, dramas in your life. You could be feeling hurt and loss and rejection and maybe even humiliation, but let go. It's These are unnecessary dramas. Don't be telling yourself stories over and over your head. What you tell yourself, you believe you become and you attract, okay? So let go of this. Sometimes Sometimes your heart enters into a contract with another and, and, and it can result in pain, not because of abuse or neglect, but for, you know, for other more complex reasons, maybe you, you, you might have had some sort of situation that didn't work out your way when it came to, uh, you know, a, a relationship with somebody on an intimate level. Maybe you've taken things out of context or maybe you've just been working too hard, banging your head against the wall to make something work and now you're it's not happening the way you wished it had. So pull away. It's time for you maybe, whatever this situation is, and it may not be a personal issue with a relationship, but whatever this is, don't allow yourself to get up in your head and blame yourself for this. Okay, Scorpio, it always takes two to tangle, right? So pull yourself away to this safe place here called your family room and close the door and stay grounded you've got security though so if you're concerned about that don't worry about it you're safe and protected no matter what is occurring in your life if you feel as though something's happened here that's left you feeling insecure and unsafe know that you're going to be okay okay once you've taken you know you can relax and let go all right um and i think you need to do that because i think spirit's got your back here this week if you've been hyper you know vigilant lately take a break relax know that it's all all it's going to be well you can turn it all over to the creator over to source over to the power uh, uh you know the powers that be don't allow yourself to get up in your head and worry yourself to that point where you feel as though you're, you're not you're unsafe because you're not you're going to be safe okay whatever situation you've been dealing with know that your guides have got your back okay now past present future possibly uh, what's holding you back and how you can propel yourself forward and to see the the information and energy coming towards you beginning middle end of the week whatever way you want to read it okay okay coming in these cards have been coming up for others as well 
you've got the queen of wands and the queen of wands is staying vigilant okay having that vibrancy to go after what you want she's you know learning from your past and being brave courageous and not afraid uh stay focused on your goal what it is you want to do and the happiness and the outcome you're expecting here i think you're going to be doing good in business i think you've got a business head on your shoulders and keep looking at your business with confidence and foresight okay you're making those changes that are going to help and enable you to see opportunities and potential come in in the form of success the queen of wands says yeah you're changing things up you're getting rid of one thing and you're starting something new changing things up cutting things out things that weren't working in your favor you you realize that mm, i'm going to change that i'm going to get rid of it i don't need it anymore it's not helping build my success or my happiness or my fulfillment so she's she does that she has this ability she's solo you may be the sole provider in your life you may be single you may be uh you know this may be you having to be concerned about what's going to work for you because you're the one fighting the battle all by yourself but you're courageous and you have the strength to do this my beautiful scorpios i think you're getting rid of something to start something new that you know is going to be better coming in next you got the chariot yeah you're a champion you know you, when you make these changes and you go after something new there's going to be risks and consequences it's not scaring you one bit you're going to go after it this is victory this is overcoming obstacles this is all about success and and the ambition and the determination that you have to continue moving forward and focusing on your hard work uh you know and self-discipline he's a champion that's he comes out ahead because he knows that if he goes in there with a positive attitude and he makes the right changes he's going to win no matter what you could be taking a trip on many wheeled vehicles as well now the fool comes in and you're no fool my beautiful scorpios you're going to do the planning you're not going to jump off that cliff without checking your parachute and that means anything new that you're making happen in your life especially your business you're going to be sure that it's a good move it's going to succeed it's going to be better than what you were doing before so do the prep work don't be afraid to take this change this new leap of faith Coming in next in the center position, you've got the three of wands. Pat yourself on the back, my beautiful Scorpios, for how far you've come thus far. You, you're traveling, you know, to places you never believed you could go when it comes to succeeding at, 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 a, at a situation you're working on. And that can be your job. But some of you could be traveling, literally moving abroad and maybe to some foreign land. Or maybe you're dealing with people on an international level. Some of you could be planning a trip overseas as well but you know what you're making happy choices and this is a card of freedom and success it's beautiful and your hard work paying off because look what we have oh my goodness scorpio wheel of fortune all these changes and these little tweaks that you're doing right now and preparation here and cutting out is going to lead you to happiness and success congratulations i love this the wheel of fortune says the energy is being propelled in a successful happy direction for you get on that wagon and ride that wheel of fortune don't be afraid coming in next you've got the page of pentacles yes new beginnings but new beginnings you could be hearing of new beginnings and good news about money earthly matters solid new beginnings you're setting a goal now to go after some new opportunity that's going to help increase money income in your life you could also be doing some negotiations you could be um you could be taking some sort of study new form of study something you're going to add to your you know you want a plaque on the wall you want to put something in your resume to help elevate you so this is good news about how to make more money or receiving news about money coming in ace of cups wow if you've been wanting love it's coming hot and heavy ace of cups is new beginnings new romance realizing that if you are in a relationship don't cut it out asap because there still could be some commitment coming in this is a card that says any problems you've had in relationships they're going to clear up there's going to be clarity now there's going to be forgiveness now things are going to work out this is a card of ultimate love i love it now coming in next your final card this is the knight of wands fast moving energy something you're going to have to act on asap this is about making quick decisions being ambitious and taking that journey to go towards what you want but this is also about sexual adventures this could be somebody riding in i call him the player because he makes an entrance he comes in he wants a hot and heavy fast love affair and he can make an exit just as quickly so beware of the player the knight of wands um you know i think you love a challenge i don't think you're afraid of this situation because there could be a new love coming in like this so enjoy it my beautiful 
beautiful Scorpios. There could be a choice and a decision here. <clears throat> two choices, two opportunities, two decisions that you might have to make, whether it's in business or on a personal level. But this is a card that says balance yourself. Okay, don't take on more than you can chew. Maybe, uh, you know, you have to sit back and think about what's going to bring you to your greater good, what's going to be um, last the test of time here. But it's not going to be difficult because I think you already know where you want to go and, who, and the choice and decision that you're going to be making at this time. Well, as long as you stay grounded, my beautiful Scorpios, everything looks good. Just keep your head clear. Stay grounded. Don't allow yourself to blame yourself for anything here because if you continue to do that, you're going to attract that attention. And you know all of this, Scorpio, because you're quite intuitive and a lot of you do what I do. Um, know that you're safe and you're secure at this time. I wish you a great remainder to today, my beautiful Scorpios, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings, and I'll see you soon.